The DR session is in front of you. If this was you, would you feel comfortable knowing exactly where to enter, where to exit, and how to hold a trade with high probability? My system is built on giving you the best possible outcome, purely backed by historical data and a tool powered by millions of data points. Today I will show you how combining the DR basics with just a few data insights can completely change your trading decisions, whether you trade Forex, futures, commodities, crypto or bonds. Let's get started. This is a Tuesday on USD slash JPY and we're focusing on the Forex market. Why this pair? Because based on historical data, it has one of the highest success rates in terms of defining range true sessions. What does that mean exactly? Whenever a 5-minute candle closes outside of the defining range, for example, below the defining range low, price rarely closes on the opposite side of the range within the same session. These statistics are based on over 1,400 DR sessions, and that's a major edge, a clear statistical advantage. The aftermarket defining range opens at 7.30 p.m. and closes at 8.30 p.m. New York time. Those defining range levels now remain valid until 2 a.m. Immediately we see a large gap between the opening and closing price and since the close is lower that first hour finishes red. And here's where it gets significant. Historically a red first hour gives you roughly a 70% probability of seeing a short confirmation during the same session. That confirmation is simple when a 5 minute candle closes below the defining range. Before that confirmation even happens you can already apply DR basics principles. Highlight key previous DR session levels that align with this range. Toggle them on and off as needed for clean visuals. Notice how the aftermarket session opens and pushes lower from some of the previous DR levels perfectly. That's not random. As expected, the DR box prints red and the short confirmation follows immediately after. Since this is the Tuesday aftermarket session, we can shift our focus to that day specifically and look at a few data points from past Tuesdays where this exact same thing happens. A quick scan in my QuantX database, which is built on millions of data points, shows exactly what happens when a short confirmation happens early, within the first 30 minutes of Tuesday's aftermarket DR sessions. Based on nearly 16 years of data, Tuesday short confirmations held true 76% of the time. That's powerful. Now we focus only on the true session data, the sessions that remained valid after confirmation. Our focus window is from 8.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. since we're analyzing short confirmations within the first 30 minutes. The time and price approach focuses purely on three things. The retracement time, the retracement price area, and a high probability target. This framework is simple but extremely effective, especially combined with the DR basics. Let's start with maximum retracement time data. It tells us when the maximum retracement happened during the session. The white line in the distribution marks the median time, and for this approach it's also the cutoff point. No trades are taken after 10.30 p.m. Simple rules build simple frameworks. Looking at the distribution you will notice a spike between 8.45 and 9 p.m. That's when maximum retracements happened most often. By selecting this window we've now narrowed our entry time window to 8.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. and the data automatically adjusts. This allows us to identify high probability retracement areas and high probability target zones for that time window only. It might sound complicated at first, but trust me, once you backtest this, it becomes second nature. Your brain gets trained to recognize these frameworks instantly. Next, let's analyze the maximum retracement distribution itself. Most of the time, price retraced between 0 and plus 0 0.09 inside the range. 50% of sessions retraced as deep as minus 0.3 and by minus 0.7 nearly 70% of retracements were already completed. So here's how we structure it for high probability areas. The high probability entry area plus 0.09 to minus 0.1 inside the range. Possible stop loss level minus 0.3 covering 50% of historical retracements. Second entry area from the mid at minus 0.5 down to minus 0.7, which is the 70th percentile. Now with entry zones identified, the final piece is where did price extend most frequently? The maximum extension distribution answers that. 
two data points immediately stand out, plus 1.4 standard deviations reached 70% of the time. And the plus 2.1 standard deviations reached 50% of the time. That's significant. The plus 1.4 standard deviation level is your high probability target. And if the maximum retracement happens before 10.30 pm, the likelihood of reaching plus 1.4 standard deviation is very high. So here's the question. Would you know that without data? Would you feel comfortable holding a trade that far if you didn't know the probabilities behind it? Let me know in the comments. I'd really like to know your honest opinion about that. Now with everything plotted, the retracement areas, the targets and the previous DR levels toggled on, you can start framing actual trade setups. Two strong opportunities stand out. The first near the lower retracement area, aligned with two previous DR levels. And the second near the retirement setup area, also overlapping a DR level. For the first position, the stop can be placed at minus 0.3, covering 50% of retracements. For the second, either above minus 0.7 for an aggressive stop or above the defining range high for a safer approach, since Tuesday sessions turned false only about 24% historically. See how powerful just a few data points can be? They completely change how you view the session. Fast forward, an aggressive candle retraces straight into the first zone, and most traders would panic here. But you, you're prepared. You're backed by structure and probability. As the candle closes, you execute with confidence. And it delivers a clean 5.5R move. Price barely looks back, reaches the target and even extends beyond it. 2.1 standard deviations hit, just like the data showed with around 50% probability. And that's what separates a reactive trader from a strategic one. So what's the real takeaway? When you combine DR basics with even just a few quantitative data points, you're not guessing, you're calculating. You're trading with logic, not emotion. And this is just one example of what's possible. There are dozens of other insights like this hidden inside the data. Patterns, behaviors and probabilities that have never been made public. If you already feel comfortable with the DR basics and can read price action confidently, then applying data and deeper probability layers might just be the final piece of your puzzle. That's the beauty of this strategy. It's simple, logical, and statistically proven. Have a great trading week, and as always, trade smart, stay disciplined, and I'll see you in the next video. We're gonna take on the world.